Is this really your first time snowboarding? Just gotta keep your balance, right? Whoa! <laughs> Senpai! You're too fast! <sighs> you gotta open up your stance, do you get it? Come on! It's... it's easier said than... Huh? been down this slope a bunch of times now. Hey, what do you think of my snowboarding skills? I bet you're head over heels with them. Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. Teddy kept crashing into me. It's not fair that Kanji gets to keep skiing with Nao-chan. I'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. So you were doing it on purpose, you bastard! You guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? So this was your first time skiing, Naoto-kun? How was it? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji-kun is teaching me, but it's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction or falling over without warning. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. My fur's all frozen, too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. We've got tomorrow, too, so let's call it a day. Aren't you hungry, Chie? I didn't even notice it till now. I'm super hungry! What are we having for dinner at the lodge? I think soul cooked in non-regional style. That non-regional part caught my attention. So, it's a non-style style? What is that supposed to taste like? I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. That's so mean! I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. I wasn't yelling! And that cake was only good because Naoto helped you. That's not true! It was thanks to the cookbook. I don't care which it was! And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. There's something more important at hand right now! Soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? Meat! How much of a carnivore are you? I don't
don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. No beef? Or pork? Or even chicken? She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Meat. Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? No, we'd never do that. Bear meat is pretty gamey, after all. You're so cruel, Yuki-chan! Is Teddy still in the bathhouse? We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was going to hold out in the bath until they showed up. Sheesh, what's he up to now? You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? What? That's the worst. Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me, rather than people like that, senpai? Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed! So, why don't we... No. But I didn't suggest anything yet! Sorry, were you gonna say play cards? Why don't we go night skiing? I've always been impressed by people who can do that. Then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Then, why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Tell ghost stories. I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree too. Huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff, too. Once, we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. And sometimes, when you take pictures in that room during Obon, they don't come out right. Oh, that's pretty creepy. Oh, and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. Folklore has little valid scientific evidence, but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um... You're scared too? Yes. This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? Oh, so, you got any special stories of your own up your sleeve? I can't believe you guys! I'm having no part of this! I'm plugging my ears! Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? Shut up, Moranji! Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? You stop calling me that, damn it! Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts creepy. Let's see. It was over three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She keeps saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, 
All her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything, and soon his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. But when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying was dead. They said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> but that's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. That's not denying it. You're supporting it. Wait, did she die? I think she turned up okay. Well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? Well, you're next. What do you have in mind? You're gonna do this to us, too? It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? Ooh, one time, at the inn, there was this... Zip it! What was that? I heard something. I heard something just now. That was... unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. Anyway, keep going. You can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. Huh? Wait... Are you talking about... Ah! Uh, uh, blackout? Oh shit! Something just went past me! I told you I didn't want to do this! Why didn't you listen to me? Someone get the lights on! I can't take this anymore! Hurry! Uh, hang on! Where's the switch? How dare you to think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone. I'm gonna curse you. Get him? Yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. What? Babes, what's come over you? Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And, and, what happened after that? Yeah, you say that, but I bet you've got some crazy story of your own up your sleeve. Hmm, you and ghost stories, huh? That might be seriously scary. Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? You're gonna do this too, Senpai? You meanie. It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? Come on, this isn't a ghost story anymore, is it? It's just a story about someone being kidnapped. What was that? I heard something. I heard something just now. That was... unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. Anyway, keep going. You can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. Whoa, that's freaky. Something about a nose that long? Ah! Uh, uh, black Wait, seriously? Well, well, I'm not gonna lie. 
I sometimes get a little spooked. There's nothing to freak out over. I think. I can't believe you guys! I'm having no part of this! I'm plugging my ears! Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? It doesn't have to be all that scary. I'm sure you know at least one. Say whatever you want, as long as it's scary. It's gonna be okay. No, it's not okay! It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? No, no, you can't stop after coming this far. What was that? I heard something. I heard something just now. That was unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. Anyway, keep going. You can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. Stop now! Ah! Uh, uh, blackout? Oh shit! Something just went past me! I told you I didn't want to do this! Why didn't you listen to me? Someone get the lights on! I can't take this anymore! Hurry! Uh, hang on! Where's the switch? How dare you to think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone. I'm gonna curse you. Get him? Yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. Well, babes, what's come over you? Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And, and, what happened after that? 